Friday, May 6th. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, and assorted yogurt. Elementary and middle school lunch is chicken wings with mac and cheese. High school fried chicken or Salisbury steak and gravy, plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. Saturday, May 11th, Wild Adventures Theme Park in Valdosta, Georgia presents Scotty McCreary, live in concert. I'm coming over, I hope it's all right. It's the Wild Adventures All-Star Concert Series featuring Scotty McCreary, live in concert Saturday, May 11th. This is it. Concert admission is included with your park admission or season pass. Limited reserve seats are still available. Get your tickets and reserve seats today for Scotty McCreary, live in concert at wildadventures.com. Great products, low prices, helpful service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa de Mar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia working to add life to your days. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Does your body need some work? At Morton Collision Center, our comprehensive professional auto repair services will restore your vehicle to its pre-accident condition quickly and affordably. Expert collision repair, undetectable color matching, free estimates, all insurance claims welcome. Towing from the wreck with your request. Let the friendly staff at Morton Collision Center help you by dealing with the insurance company directly. Call 385-1048. That's 385-1048. We guarantee all of our work. Morton Collision Center. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for the latest in local news of the news. Both the Wayne County Commissioners and the Justice City Commissioners have meetings set for this week. The County Commissioners meet tonight at 7 p.m. at the County Commissioners Meeting Room. On the agenda is a presentation from the ACCG under new business considering approval resolution amending the fiscal year 2018 budget, which was tabled from their April meeting. Also considering approval a memorandum of agreement between Pineland Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities Wayne Service Center. Considering approval an agreement between Wayne County Transit and Wayne County Board of Health. Consider and approve the 2019 LAMIG list. Consider and approve a bid award for Industrial Park Road. Consider and approve a contract for J.C. Landing. Consider and approve Camorra's contract for temporarily closing Powerline Road. Under appointments, one appointment for the Solid Waste Authority in District 3. Under items with the County Administrator Financial Review. Consider liquidation of county properties. And under items with the County Commissioners, Kevin McCrary has on discussion of Lake Grace. Is an executive session on the agenda, all taking place tonight at 7 p.m. at the County Commissioner's Meeting Room. I have a full report for you tomorrow here on the local news. City Commissioners set to meet on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. at City Hall under new business discussion of an urban redevelopment plan with the Jessup Housing Authority Director Mark Watson, discussion of C.M. Phillips Road Extension with Steve Deaton, resolution of abandonment of two alleyways with City Attorney Michael Connor. 
discussion of bid used tobacco with the Water Department Supervisor Anthony Crawford. Also, an executive session to discuss a legal matter, items with the city manager, items with the commissioners, items with the mayor. All that's set for Tuesday night at City Hall. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark, the tool supply place. And then a monkey Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, the most new cars means fresh trade ins every day. And the Walker Jones Mega Center picks only the very best, runs them through our vigorous inspection and repair, then sells to you at tremendous prices. Most even qualify for our lifetime warranty. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross. Get the best. The Wayne County Chamber of Commerce would like to invite all chamber members to a membership appreciation lunch Tuesday, May 7th from 11 until 1 at the Wayne County Farmers Market. We'd like to say thank you to all our members for your investment in our local chamber. Stop by and have lunch with us or take it to go. Tuesday, May 7th from 11 until 1 for the Chamber of Commerce Membership Appreciation Luncheon. All chamber members are invited. For three days only, your Sears Hometown Store is having their family and friends savings event. Starting this Sunday through Tuesday, take an extra 10% off almost everything in store. Save up to 30% on appliances, plus an extra 5% off with Sears card or 12 months no interest. The warm weather is here, so now is the time to save big on that new lawn tractor. Plus, take advantage of the great selection and prices on mattresses. Don't miss the big savings at your Sears Hometown Store in Jessup during the family and friends savings event this Sunday through Tuesday. Other news, the Boys and Girls Club raised a lot of money this past weekend as they hosted the 24-karat gold Mr. Wayne County contest, and the contestants went out and raised a lot of money for their cause in the People's Choice Award, which went to Derek Williams. Between Derek Williams, Kevin Brigman, and Jeremy Dent, the three men raised close to $20,000 for the Boys and Girls Club. Kevin Brigman took home the $10,000 that was raffled off by the club on Saturday evening. Ticket pulled that night by a big man on campus winner Griffin Boykin. Several individual winners in different categories. Miles Mosley won the interview portion of the event. Kevin and Brigman won the entertainment portion with a stand-up comedy routine. Outfit of choice went to Jamie Knight. Evening wear went to Derek Williams. Twelve contestants in all. Here's how they finished. Third runner-up went to Ben Dumas. Second runner-up, Derek Williams. First runner-up, Jeremy Dent. And your new Mr. Wayne County after a two-year reign by Justin Drotty is Jamie Knight. Once again, the big winner of the night was the Boys and Girls Club, as this was a fundraising event for the club heading into the summer, with a, and a lot of money was raised through the event on the Boys and Girls Club, thanking all their sponsors and the 12 contestants who gave a lot of their time to prepare for the entertaining show this past Saturday night at the KK Gold Theater at Wayne County High School. And our credit and congratulations to the, your new Mr. Wayne County, Jamie Knight. Wayne County Chamber of Commerce holding a membership appreciation luncheon tomorrow at the Farmer's Market. Gets underway from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., Again, all chamber members are invited to attend. Again, that membership appreciation luncheon set for tomorrow from 11 to 1 at the Wayne County Farmers Market. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark, the tool supply place. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scottbilt, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, R60 and higher insulation values, thermal pane windows, and energy-efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles, Bay, or Sheridan today. Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup is your one-stop health shop for most all your health care needs. 
They offer same-day appointments, and walk-ins are welcome for medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, and massage therapy care for immediate treatment and pain relief for injuries and illnesses of all conditions. Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal and joint pains, headaches, neurological and muscle conditions, and family medical needs. Advanced Healthcare accepts and files most major insurance plans, accepts motor vehicle and workman's comp cases, and they make self-pay plans affordable for everyone so you can get the care you need right away. Call or walk into Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup or visit their website at ahc4health.com to explore the many ways they can quickly serve you. Advanced Healthcare Center, serving the Wayne County area for over 27 years. Feel better today. Final notes and news. Wayne County Historical Society meets Thursday, May 9th at Western Sizzlin. Dutch Street Meal begins at 6 with the meeting at 7. Program this month will be presented by Wayne Morgan, well-known photographer and environmentalist. Wayne has self-published six coffee table books. You have some of those on hand. For his 20th year in photography, Wayne's done some beautiful calendars, which he'll bring to sell along with some of his books. This will be the last meeting before the summer break. Meetings will resume in September. Everyone's invited to come and enjoy this special program. Again, Wayne County Historical Society, meeting Thursday, May 9th at Western Sizzlin. Again, if you need more information, call Mary Lou Drury at 427-6545. Three Rivers Ready is time to fish in Wayne County's Board of Tourism to Angel Wayne County Catfish Tournament, set for June 1st and 2nd. Tournament will begin that Saturday at 12 noon, continue until Sunday at 2 p.m. This year's event offers anglers the opportunity to win a $7,500 first place payout, with their place payouts determined by the number of entries into the tournament. Weigh in and tournament headquarters will once again be at the JC Fairgrounds at JC Landing. Those fishing the event can put in anywhere on the Altamar River, but they must be in line at Weigh in at JC Fairgrounds by 2 p.m. Sunday. Tournament officials ask entrants to please note you must come to the fairgrounds to receive your t shirt. Entry fee for the event is $100 per fisherman with a minimum of at least two fishing in a boat. Big fish pot entry is $10 per fisherman. Registration can be done online at active.com or can be dropped off at the Tourism Board's office in the depot. Registration packets are available online or at the Jessup Train Depot. Need more information, call the Tourism Board office at 427-3233 or check out the event website at waynetourism.com. Fish are out and they're waiting for the boats June 1st and 2nd. Again, the annual Wayne County Catfish Tournament. On the Altamar River, again, if you need more information, again, call the Tourism Board Office at 427-3233. And that's going to do it for what is in local news. Sports can join in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Do you need a new lawnmower? If so, head to Night Saw Company in Baxley. Choose from a large selection of name brand mowers. Night Saw Company offers the best lawnmowers at the best prices anywhere. They also have in stock belts, batteries, and parts for all mowers, along with name brand trimmers, blowers, and hedge trimmers. For over 50 years, Wayne Countyans have been getting their power lawn equipment and parts from Knights. Night Saw Company on the Jessup side of Baxley on Highway 341. Brunswick, Georgia, and all surrounding areas. Greater Works Ministries presents the 2019 Incredible Faith Conference with Bishop T.D. James. Figuring out that, that I could fly in this dimension where I crawled in that dimension. And Grammy, Stellar, and Dove Award winner, Tasha Cobbs Leonard. Live! Live! Join your host, Pastor Mark Baker. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. May 23rd at the Jekyll Island Convention Center, beginning at 7 p.m. It's free and open to the public. Get ready, May 24th. It's Making the Ground with Bishop T.D. Jakes, beginning at 9 a.m. Space is limited, so register at greaterworksfamily.com. Grab your family and friends and join Greater Works Ministries for the incredible faith conference with Bishop T.D. Jakes, May 23rd and May 24th. This is one conference you don't want to miss. 
When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness, emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. Hi, good morning. Sunshine today, northwest breeze 10 to 15, highs mid 80s. Clear around 60 for tonight, sunny upper 80s tomorrow, upper 60s tomorrow night. Wednesday, sunshine, slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, highs upper 80s. Thursday, partly sunny, slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, high of 90. Friday, a better chance of showers and thunderstorms. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. Here's your menu of the Wayne County School System for Monday, May 6th. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit and assorted yogurt. Elementary and middle school lunch is chicken wings with mac and cheese. High school fried chicken or Salisbury steak and gravy plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. WIFOFM Big Dog Country. It's time to check your birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you this morning by Barge and Power Sports. Happy birthday to Christy Grover Gillian from your mother-in-law for Christy Grover Gillian. Happy birthday, Christy Gillian from your mother-in-law this morning. Happy birthday wishes today to Annette Anderson. Annette Anderson, Richard Daniels celebrating Richard Daniels. Shannon Davis as well, Shannon Davis. Cameron Pye, happy birthday, Cameron Pye. And Daniel Roberts, Daniel Roberts, happy birthday from the Robin Eubank State Farm Gang this morning. Paige Mullis celebrated yesterday. Happy birthday, Paige, from Mimi and Peepaw for Paige Mullis. Paige Mullis on Sunday from Mimi and Peepaw for Paige Mullis. Also on Sunday, Alexis Ann Aspinwall. Love Mom, Josh, Caleb, and Brindley. We love you so much. Yesterday, Alexis Ann Aspinwall turned 14. Alexis Ann Aspinwall, 14 on Sunday. Adam Bell celebrating, a.k.a. Monkey Bell. Happy birthday, Adam Bell, a.k.a. Monkey, a happy birthday and many more to come from your true friends, Carla, a.k.a. Tinkerbell, and family. We love you very much. Adam Bell celebrating. Adam Bell, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Dawson Dial 11. Dawson Dial is 11 today from Papa, Mimi, Toby, Melanie, April, and Gary. Dawson Dial 11 today. Happy 11th birthday. Dawson Dial is celebrating. Over the weekend, Clace Hobbs, three years old over the weekend for Clace Hobbs. That was on Saturday. Clace Hobbs turning three years old. Happy birthday, Clace, from Mama, Daddy, and Cade. Clace Hobbs, three, on Saturday. Over the weekend, happy anniversary to Sonia and Pat Jones on Saturday. Sonia and Pat Jones, happy birthday. And then happy birthday, Garrett Pye, Garrett Pye on Saturday. Then yesterday, happy anniversary, Melanie and Kale Harris, Melanie and Kale Harris, Happy anniversary. Happy birthday, Tanya Anderson, Isabella Williams, and Susan Gehring from the Trapnel family on Sunday. And then on the 6th today, Joanne Douglas, Joanne Douglas, and Reed Brown. Reed Brown, all those birthday wishes from the Trapnel family this morning. Reverend David Hubbs, happy 70th birthday, Reverend David Hubbs. We love you from your family, Reverend David Hubbs from your family, David Hubbs, 70. All right, more wishes for Paige Mullis, who turned four yesterday from Mimi and Peepaw. Paige Mullis, four on Sunday from Mimi and Peepaw. Long County calendar on the 6th this morning would be Nathan Gordon. Nathan Gordon, happy birthday, Nathan Gordon. That's the Long County calendar. Let's look at the Big Dog Birthday book today. All right, nothing on the 6th. Text Osos at 912-427-3711 this morning. Happy birthday, Caden James, 11, from Gigi and G-Pop for Caden James, 11. Caden James is 11 from Gigi and P-Pop. 
Happy Nurses Day to all the school nurses. Shelly Martin, Lori Smith, Tiffany Drotty, Suzanne Hayes, Terry Mercer, Tammy Madry, Venetia Saxon, Elaine Carter. Thank you for all you do. Love, Carla. Happy Nurses Day to all the school nurses this morning. Okay, comment, 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 comment. 912-427-3711. Birthdays, anniversaries on WIFO, as always, brought to you by Bardron Power Sports. You've got time to shoot one in right now via text at 912-427-3711. Famous birthdays today, sportscaster Aaron Andrews is 41. Last diet, too. How would you like to trade that refreshing diet, too, for an autograph? Autographs aren't delicious. Singer Stella Parton is 70. There's one thing better than a pretty lady. And that's a pretty lady that sings. And that's Stella Parton. And that's the danger of a stranger that you meet in the dark. Singer-songwriter Robert Ellis Arl is 64. All right, we'll be back with your big dog country birthday cake winner here on WIFOFM, and we'll do that right after this for Bargeman Power Sports. Bargeman Power Sports invites everyone to come visit their unbelievable new showroom on Highway 301 South in Jessup and on Highway 341 in Brunswick. They have a great selection of ATVs, golf carts, mowers, and more. Bargeman Power Sports carries Arctic Cat four-wheelers and side-by-sides, the new popular Can-Am four-wheelers and side-by-sides, cruise carts, and Yamaha golf carts. Bargeman has the full line of Kimco scooters. Don't forget, Bargeman Power Sports offers a complete service department for all your service and repair needs. Stop by today and check out Bargeman Power Sports, Highway 301 South in Jessup, and their new location on Highway 341 next to I-95 in Brunswick. Your big dog country birthday cake winner on this Monday morning. Happy 11th birthday, Dawson Dial. Dawson Dial picks up the cake from the Jessup Pig Little Bakery. That's your difference here at the station. You come by, you pick that up. It's good for today. Only head to the pig and claim your prize. Bargeman Power Sports, Brunswick Jessup Online. BargeonPowerSports.com brings you birthdays and anniversaries. Wishing Dawson Dawson Dial, happy 11th birthday, Big Dog Country birthday cake winner. Happy birthday to my best buddy, Reed Brown. Reed Brown from Chad Ogden this morning. Chad wishing Reed Brown happy birthday. And happy birthday, Pa, that's a.k.a. Reed Brown. We love you so much. From all your grands, that's Caroline Tripp, Kate, Ellie, Grace, Haley, Adeline, Bella, Bennett, and Isla wishing Reed Brown happy birthday this morning. Birthday. Dawson Dial 11 picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. Here's your menu of the Wayne County School System for Monday, May 6th. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, and assorted yogurt. Elementary and middle school lunch is chicken wings with mac and cheese. High school fried chicken or Salisbury steak and gravy, plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. At 733, let's get a look at your GNN Weather Center forecast of the Big Dog. It's brought to you this morning by First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. When it comes to growing a family business, we understand the business of growing. At First Southern Bank, we've been meeting the needs of South Georgia farmers for over 100 years with competitive ag loan rates, including equipment loans, farmland loans, and lines of credit. First Southern Bank has all the banking tools you need to help keep your growing business growing. First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. For loan rates and more, visit FirstSouthernGA.com. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, good morning. Sunshine today, northwest breeze 10 to 15, highs mid-80s. Clear around 60 for tonight, sunny upper 80s tomorrow, upper 60s tomorrow night. Wednesday, sunshine, slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, highs upper 80s. Thursday, partly sunny, slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, high of 90. Friday, a better chance of showers and thunderstorms. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. River level 9.8 feet steady for now. Projected to start fall like 9.8 river level. High tide this morning 9.51, 6.4 feet. Low this afternoon 4.09. High again this evening 10.05, 7.6 feet. Sunrise was at 6.37, 8.11 for sunset. So that's 16 off the front and 26 on the back. 
what's that, 42 more minutes of daylight to add as we head towards the first day of summer. Temperatures right now in the mid-60s, 65, 65 here at the Big Dog WIFO-FM. GNN Weather Center forecast this morning brought to you by First Southern Bank. Investing in you since 1907. At 735, 25 until 8, good morning from the Big Dog WIFO. It is time to check in with state news from GNN. That is brought to you this morning by England's Mobile Glass and England's Collision Center. Let's groove. Let's face it. Having an accident is no fun. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass is committed to taking the stress out of the repair process. We have been serving Wayne County for over 20 years and know that our customers come first. Let's groove. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass, located at 586 Southwest Broad Street in Jessup, 912-588-9922. I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network. A Banks County deputy has a long recovery ahead after being injured during a traffic stop. The sheriff's office says Sergeant Joshua Robertson pulled over a car Friday night, but one of the suspects inside took off running. Sergeant Robertson gave chase and was hit by a car. Over the weekend, Banks County officials said that Robertson suffered several broken bones, but he is alert and talking. A GoFundMe account has been set up to help. Governor Kemp has yet to sign the heartbeat abortion bill, but it really sounds like he plans to, and word is he may do that soon. Kemp says he worked closely with lawmakers as the bill was developed. He also says he supports the concept that life starts with the heartbeat, he tells GNN. And I I know it was a very divisive issue, um, but I think Georgians can be thankful that we do value life here. If it goes into law, abortions would be banned in Georgia once the fetal heartbeat could be detected. That's usually right around six weeks of the pregnancy. Kemp says that he knows that the ACLU plans to sue should it become law, but he thinks that the state has a solid legal case. A University of Georgia professor has been barred from the school's campus. It stems from allegations of sexual misconduct. GNN's Mike Moore reports. Longtime math professor William Cases is not being allowed to teach as he undergoes an investigation. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reports that it received a statement from UGA. Its Equal Opportunity Office is investigating allegations against the professor who's been a faculty member at UGA for about three decades. It also presented a campus police report from one woman who accused him of sexual harassment. The statement added that the university has no tolerance for sexual misconduct, but it didn't provide any details of what allegations the professor faces citing the pending investigation. Mike Moore, GNN News. And I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, the most new cars means fresh trade-ins every day. And right now, Walker Jones used car mega center inventory is brimming with over 350 top quality. 